Hi guys, uh, welcome to a uh, new channel, uh, Plant Tutorials, and uh, this channel is uh, all about game development and game design inside of Unity 3D Game Engine. Okay, so we're gonna create. Um, so uh, first thing that uh, I'm creating this series on how to make a car game inside of Unity 3D, and uh, uh, I hope that you're gonna like it, and uh, because uh, there are very few tutorials about the car, car game uh, inside of Unity 3D out there, so uh, I think why should I, why shouldn't I create that? So uh, I hope that you're gonna like it, and uh, please do subscribe and do all that good stuff. Okay, so uh, 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 let me tell you one more thing that uh, uh, I think that you're pretty familiar uh, with the. Uh, but the Unity 3D uh, interface and it, its introduction because there are pretty few, pretty much tutorials are out there which have a good introduction about the Unity. So uh, watch, uh, watch them, and uh, then watch this tutorial. Okay, so you don't have to watch them even. Uh, you can still just watch this tutorial. This is better than them. Okay, so first thing that you have to do after installing and uh, uh, after downloading and installing Unity 3D is to open up your 3D. Okay, so just open the unit 3D. Alright, so uh, we have to wait. Okay, so first time when you open the unit 3D, you will see a window like that. Okay, so we're gonna say that create a new project. So create a new project, click on browse button, and go to the app drive, and right click new folder, uh, let's say image card cuts. Select the folder, select and uh, let's select uh, some of the assets that we need. We need skyboxes, we need projectors, and we need terrain assets. Okay, now just click on create. Alright, uh, uh, and we're gonna import those all assets, and this importing process will gonna take a while. So, till then, I'm gonna pause the video and then I'm gonna resume this video. Okay, so just all right, so here we are inside of Unity, and uh, for this car game, uh, we ha uh, we have to need a car model for this. Okay, so you can create your own model inside of free softwares like Blender, and uh, I use Wings 3D in order to create a car models, and I created a car model that uh, I'm giving you for free. The link of this uh, uh, model is in the description, so you can download it for free and. Uh, Here's what it looks like. All right, so this is my car, uh, and believe me, this is the best modeling that I can ever do. All right, so uh, I have this model, and uh, I'm going to uh, import this model inside of Unity 3D. So the importing process is pretty simple, but first I need to make some folders for it. Okay, so create a new folder, name it Artwork. Right, you don't have to create the folders, but uh, I create these folders because I want my work to be stay schematic. Okay, so that's why I do this. All right, and create uh, name it terrains. I do this terrains, and uh, I create another folder. Name it. Uh, let's see what we're gonna name it. Uh, let's leave it like right there. Okay, now delete this folder. I need this folder. Okay. So I'll just import the car model. Uh, here is my car model. Select all these files. And uh, uh, where, where the hell it is. Alright. Select uh, all these files. And import it and drag it here to the car folder inside of the project. And I'm going to take a while. Alright. And it's imported. I can see the car is over here, and make sure the scale factor is to one. Uh, mine is already one. I don't know why, uh, but sometimes it doesn't. Okay, so just go to the terrain and create a floor for our game. Okay, so this is the floor that we're gonna use in order to create our first test test scene. All right. Uh, now what we have to do is to drag this terrain data file inside of the terrains. And uh, we're gonna create another folder, name it scenes, please, and save this uh, scene. Uh, let's say test scene, test scene, 
and uh, uh, now what we have to do is to uh, put the, the car model over here or over the, uh, you know the game okay so drag this car model over to the hierarchy window okay so now the car model is here and you can see the position axes are zero 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 it means it is in the middle of the it means that uh, the car is in the middle of the word space okay so what we have to do is to place this car at the top of the floor or terrain and this is the camera which is used to render the things inside of the game okay now I'm gonna put it some at some angle right over here I'm gonna put it right oh my god I lost my flag okay so what we have to do oh my god I wanna put it at zero zero and zero let's put alright uh, I have a problem I'll put this okay I'll use this use this no, I'm not gonna use this let's put it at the back of the car okay now let's uh, add some sort of ambient to the terrain so just go to the game objects right there create a directional light and uh, Set the intensity a bit down, and now when you hit the play on the game, nothing will gonna happen because we haven't attached any sort of uh, things to the object so that uh, so that it make it to react with the physics and react with our controls. So you can see when I hit play, nothing will gonna happen. All right, so you can see nothing will gonna happen. The car is stayed at its position, uh, but we have to make this car uh, move and do all the good stuff. But first, we need to add uh, some sort of physics to it. So just go to component physics and add rigid body component to it. Okay. Now this time when I'm gonna run uh, the game, the car will gonna fall in because uh, because uh, the rigid body components has a turn has turned on the use gravity mode, means it is adding gravitational force to the car. So when I hit play, the car will gonna fall in, and the car will gonna fall through the floor. And that's what we don't want. We want our car to um, uh, not to go through the floor, co to collide with the floor. Okay. So in order to do that, what we have to do is to select this car and press F on the keyboard, or you can double click on the car and go to game objects and create an empty game object. An empty game object is just a game object but doesn't have any sort of uh, components attached to it. It's just a game object that exists in the word space. Okay, so use uh, uh, so we're gonna name it as collider bottom. Yeah, and we're gonna add some sort of collider to it. So go the component physics and add a box collider component to it. And select the top mode and zoom in by pressing F key on the keyboard. And select the size selection tool and stretch it until you. Uh, Get the size that you want for your car. I want this much, and let's go down a bit and put it right over here, I guess. Okay, now duplicate this uh, car bottom thing and put it right over there. Minimize it, turn it down go over here, turn it a bit more down. Okay, now name it Collider Bottom to Collider Top. This one. Up and put both of them over to the car. Okay. Now this time when I'm gonna run the game, these collider will gonna collide with the floor and uh, we're gonna it won't gonna make the car to go through the floor. We're gonna stop the car on the top of the floor. Okay. Now let's check it. I right, can see that the car is gonna fall onto the top of the floor, and that's what we want. All right. Now, uh, uh, here's a problem. Okay, so you can see that the car is falling in, but you can see that the car of these wheels doesn't have collision with the surfaces. Now we're gonna add some sort of colliders to it, but they are not gonna be that box collider or any uh, sphere collider or any other collider. They are gonna be wheel colliders, and I'm gonna tell you why we're gonna use the wheel colliders because uh, we uh, have to. Add uh, realistic movement to the car that we're gonna add. Uh, that we're gonna add by uh, by these uh, wheel colliders, and uh, they're gonna help us a lot. So 
uh, about the wheel colliders and uh, the uh, uh, and everything about the wheel colliders. I'll tell you in the next episode. And uh, uh, we're gonna, in the next episode, we're gonna create the scene look better. And uh, uh, next in the next episode, we're not gonna be touching any sort of scripts or any sort of coding to it. And uh, after the next episode. Uh, we're gonna add uh, some sort of uh, uh, a script to the car that we're gonna make our car move and uh, uh, move realistically. Okay, and we're gonna add some more skyboxes and a more in good environment to this game, so that we're gonna go look pretty cool. So till then, goodbye and keep making games. And uh, one more thing, guys, say this. Okay, so I'll catch you in my next episode. Till then, goodbye and. Uh, Please do subscribe on my channel, it's a new channel, but it's going to help you a lot about learning the games. So, goodbye guys.